Hello, everyone, and welcome to our weekly 30-minute webinar. My name is John Deline, a systems engineer here at Verify, and I'll be your host for today's session. Today, we are joined by Dre Divaz, a recent attendee of an NFL training camp, I think. Is your mind on work or football today, Dre? Uh, you know, it's always at work, right? I, I, I never think of football. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for it having me today. in the way. <laughs> All right. Well, for today's session, we're going to talk about the grouping statistics widget, what it is and what it can do for you. Please note that these webinars are always recorded and posted within 24 hours, so you can review them at any time. Check out the webinars page at verify.com for all our past and upcoming sessions. You can also find these videos on our YouTube channel if that's easier for you. First, we'll start with a quick overview of Verify and, and what we can do for you. Then we'll jump into a live demo where Dre will present on perhaps the most powerful type of widget in the Verify dashboard, showing you the common, some common configurations for the grouping statistics widget. We'll pause for Q&A during the demo. If you have any questions, please make sure to ask them in the chat. After Q&A, we'll award one lucky attendee with a $50 Amazon gift card. So hang around to see if you've won. Verify is the preferred analytics and management solution tool for Cisco Call Manager, Contact Center Express, Cube iOS, WebEx Calling, Zoom Phone, and MS Teams collaboration. Deployable, uh, deployable either on-prem or as a hosted cloud solution, we provide industry-leading call reporting and analytics, as well as customizable dashboards and widgets. So you see management modules like remote phone control, change management, and dial plan management are also available. If you have any questions on any of our features, please contact us at support at verify.com or reach out to your account manager. One more thing before we kick this off, for an additional fee, Verify offers an enhanced consulting service to our customers. Verify's SE team engages with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis to remotely provide additional consulting, report building, dashboard configuration, and system monitoring assistance. This is a service that provides you with a dedicated Verify SE to do the heavy lifting, giving you a stress-free, hands-off experience. For more information, please contact us or your account manager, and we'd be glad to speak more in depth about pricing and terms of service for our Enhanced Consulting Services, or ECS. I'm getting ready to hand things off to Dre now. Please remember to type any questions into the chat, and we'll address them towards the end of the presentation. Let's go into the wild, Dre. All right. Somebody can see that. All right. Thank you once again, John. Uh, we are going to be talking about these uh, grouping statistics. As you know, you know our grouping statistics uh, have been around in our reporting for a long time, um, but uh, they're, they are available uh, on our dashboards as well. And you can do some similar things that you could do in a report on a dashboard here. Uh, we're going to talk about a couple of my favorite ones that uh, I created for this, um, starting off by um, this first one, right? We got this uh, all calls bar department and we're going to build all these. We're just going to kind of show you uh, each each one here and then we'll build each one uh, individually on a, on a whole new dashboard. So uh, on this uh, first one, this all calls by departments, uh, we'll have all calls coming into the organization and then how they're being uh, distributed out to our different departments. Um, a similar one with the hunt group, we're going to do uh, all calls going into a hunt group and then you know how they're terminating to different users that are connected to that hunt group good one here that i really like these i call them bad cause codes so any any cause codes that uh are not good you know so anything that's not a no error things like that uh we're gonna show you how to how to get those in there so you can kind of get a, a little glimpse of if there's any uh, cause codes uh, running around in your in your phone system that might uh be causing some issues and then we're going to look at this first call resolution. Um, how this works is we're going to see calls um, that have called multiple times um, over a certain period, right? So if you wanted to look at a day, um, and this is going to go into a certain department. So we're actually going to look at our rentals department here. And we're going to say, has any number called more than uh, once to show that maybe um, somebody called in multiple times because they didn't get to somebody they wanted to get to, or they got disconnected or something like that. So, and, and you might be able to find some looped calls or somebody, some spam call calling in all the time as well. Yep. 
scroll down this way and this last one we're going to look at top 10 phones over 30 percent concealment ratio um that's going to be some qos statistics right we're going to identify some phones that might be having some qos trouble um with the cisco concealment uh, uh ratio metric that we have as well all right let's get into start uh building these guys so let's call this grouping webinar i can't spell or type so that's great if you've worked with me before you know my typing is fantastic so <laughs> all right let's start off and we're going to build this uh all calls by department uh widget so we're going to go ahead and go in into our features i'm going to select call analytics i'm going to pick your cluster we have multiples. I know our Mexico City cluster is what I've been using. And then we have our grouping statistic widget type. Go ahead and create this guy. And we'll give it a name here. All calls by department. Spelled that right. Great. All right. We're going to go into our search sets here. And we're going to set up a couple things here. Let's call this uh all calls for the search set name we're going to go into our search set criteria here and we're going to go by scenario type just because it's a little easier you could do this multiple different ways to get all calls right so if you do a scenario type you can actually select total calls then you're going to get all calls in your environment you could also do like calling party number ends with x or starts with x um, uh, for our wild card so you can use that as well um, you could also use a um, uh, an originating device name as your as your router or, or gateway um, or something like that too. So there's a couple different ways you can you can set it up. For, but for today, we're just going to use this call scenario type total calls. All right, I'm going to go back into our configuration here, and obviously, if you know our widgets well, you have a couple of little um, settings you can change here. But what we're going to look at is is the the important stuff today is our grouping configuration. So because we're going to be doing this by um, department, we want to change this to some department statistics here. So I'm going to grab, I typed in a little department here, and then we're going to grab originating or terminating CUCM de, uh, department. So we can see calls that are, uh, origin, are you know, ending at those departments or coming from those departments as well. Um, we're going to leave this turned on, um, and I'll show you kind of what this means, the grouping for unassociated um, as well. Uh, so, and we're also going to sort this from highest to lowest. So we're going to show that first, you know, the most uh, the department with the most uh, calls at the top. And our grouper, or bleh, grouping filter, um, as you can see here, we can go up to 50. So if you have more than 50 departments, it might not show them all. Um, but we're just going to type in like 30. So we'll show up to 30 different departments. Um, you can you can have a minimum call count if you want, but we'll keep that at zero. And for our grouping source configuration, this is uh, something new as well. Um, we're for today we're going to do on this one we're going to do call history, and I'll kind of show you what what this means. But um, when you use your call, and it tells you right here as well, but um, it's going to take your call history data. Um, so let's say there was, you know, any kind of calls, even if you had zero calls, things like that, this is going to show that if you change it to your search set criteria, um, I'm sorry, complete opposite. I messed that one up. Call history data is going to show you just anything call history. So if there was no calls, it's not going to show you those calls. If you set this to search set criteria, um, that's going to enable, uh, calls with no activity as well. And I'll kind of show you in those cause codes too, how that works. And then if you have a grouping search set, you can actually turn that on um, to just group uh, your statistics on a certain uh, grouping search set. And if I click that, you can actually create a grouping search set. So you can actually just drill down if you wanted to like just do one department or something like that. All right, well, we're gonna grab some statistics here. We're gonna do, uh, what was it? We're going to do uh, total calls. We'll do some uh, dialed, dialed count. We'll do terminating call count. And we'll do some um, banded uh, call percentage and maybe some voicemail. And you can add what you like and maybe what you want to see there. 
at the bottom, we, ha we have that statistic uh, summary bar. This is just puts a, <clears throat> a number at the top. Um, so if we wanted to show a uh, total call count, you can actually show just a total calls. That's going to take all those, you know, all the calls that came in today uh, as your total call count. So, so let's go time period. We're going to do previous week because that's the data I have in there. You can also uncheck this and include a certain uh, hour of the day if you'd want or exclude any days. Let's go ahead and save that one. Expand this out a little bit. All right, and that's what you're going to get there. And you can actually make this look a little better if you change the font size, a little, maybe a little bigger. And we can condense this down. Hopefully you guys can see that a little better. So what this is showing is, like I said, all the calls coming into your environment and then how are they um, distributed within your departments here. As you can see, uh, we have rentals as our highest with 3,800 calls um, terminating, uh, mostly terminating. Uh, I don't have a dial count, so no one's calling out. But if, if you have, you know, um, people that are associated to those departments, you'll see a dialed count as well. When we talked about earlier about that little button with the no, no associated originating or terminating, um, what that can be, we'll go back in here and show you just so, so you are aware where this is at. This is this button here. Um, that can include anything that doesn't have like a department associated to it, right? So a CTL route point or voicemail, or maybe some people don't have a, a department uh, and, and call manager. So that's going to include those as well. So if we turn that off, it'll clean up the, uh, the widget a little bit here for us. Once it loads, should be pretty quick. And there you go, it got rid of that one. It does make this look a little odd because this is not gonna add up, but this is also a total count of all calls in in your environment, but here are the ones that are actually being distributed to different departments. Really neat widget, um, really nice, easy setup, and you can add your uh, some more statistics, like I said, if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and we'll do, um, hunt group widget which i'm sure a lot of people would like to see as well and like i said we're going to make sure that we select that grouping statistic type and we'll call this calls into hunt 7728 because that's how you know that is a uh, one that we use here so we're going to create one we'll call this uh, 77280 <clears throat> And what we're going to use is uh, original called party number here. So I'll just type in called, original called party number. So we're going to look at all calls coming into this um, hunt, hunt group number. And we're going to use that one. So you put in whatever number you guys have there. Go back into our configuration page. And then we are going to uh, group this by terminating CUCM end user. So we're going to see all calls going into that hunt, hunt group and then where they terminated um, to a user that's associated to that hunt group. Um, we're going to group these by total count again. We'll change this to 30. And you can change this if you need to. Sort high to low. I did that. All right. Then what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do this off of our search set criteria. Um, so if there was uh, no calls coming into a person, you at least get those zero counts as well. So we're gonna hold, go ahead and put. Let's do a total count, and then we can do um, some connected call counts even percentages if you'd want, answered call count, abandoned, I missed the answered. There it is. Put that one at the bottom. Great. And then also you could do that uh, summary bar if you wanted at the top. So let's take a look. Oh, that's fun. Uh, what happened there? What I miss? Oh, time period. I don't have any uh, current day, uh, data, so we got to go from last week here. This should look a little better, and it does. Let's clean it up a little bit so you guys can see. 
that's going to look like here. So there you go. So we are looking at all those calls coming into this hunt group and then where they're going. And like I said, we have that turned on. So these calls uh, look like they could be going to going somewhere else through voicemail, things like that, um, that uh, could affect this no associated. But we can turn it off and clean them, make that a little cleaner. So you're just seeing your users that are connected to that hunt group. Nice and easy kind of to set up and just have a, a nice dashboard where you can kind of get a quick overview of, of what's going on for a certain time period. And, you know, what we did, we're doing previous week because of the data that I have. But if you wanted to see this on a daily basis, you would change, you could change this to, you know, current day. And you could also do, you know, previous week if you'd want and then kind of compare, you know, um, a week to week basis and things like that and see how, uh, how many calls your users are taking, uh, but you change this in here to your time period. All right. All right, let's go take a look at the first call resolution. I know I kind of talked about it a little bit at the beginning, but um, building a widget that shows if there's a certain, uh, you know, more than twice that a number has called into or more, you can set it to, to a different amount, but Let's show you guys how to set this up and then we can talk about it a little more here. So grouping statistic widget. Uh, we'll call this first call resolution to rentals, I guess. Let's do it that way. All right, this is gonna take a little bit more here to uh, create. Um, we'll call this, uh, Oh, that's fine. Uh, just calls is fine. Doesn't have to be too crazy there, just a name. All right, so we're gonna add some of our uh, search criteria that we're gonna need. <clears throat> so we're going to look at, um, my mind is lost. We need to look at, uh, da, 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 da. Couple of things again? here we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, originating CUC, um, no, terminating. Sorry, thank you, John. Terminating CUCM department because we want to see uh, calls that are terminating at, at you know hitting uh, uh, that department. We're gonna add a. Not gonna do that. I think we actually need to look at. Uh, okay, add that criteria. Let's pick our department perfect all right and then we're going to add our um so we want to see all calls that are you know inbound calls from the outside <clears throat> so a couple ways you can do it um but what we're going to do is do like originating uh device name so this could be your 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 sip trunk um your gateway router um device name that is a uh, configured within call manager. So ours starts with SIP trunk. So we're just gonna add that one. So we're seeing all those inbound calls. And then we also need to see some normal call clearing. So let's do, um, there's our cause codes, there we go. Um, do originating or terminating cause codes. We're going to type in normal because we want to see calls that haven't been abandoned or anything. We want to make sure that these calls were called back in um, because of, because of a normal call clearing. So if somebody calls in twice, multiple times because they couldn't get to somebody. So that might help you identify if if some you know <clears throat> your calls aren't getting routed to a certain per, uh, person correctly, and and multiple people might be trying to uh, to call in, and uh, this could help identify that. All right, perfect. And go back here. Let me change this real quick to previous week so I don't mess that up again. And then we're going to group on calling party number. So we want to see all the calls uh, that are coming in. We're going to do total call count highest to lowest. We could set this up to 50, but we'll do just 30. This is what we've been doing. We're also going to set this to a minimum call count of one, let's say. So any calls that have called in uh, more than once in our week period that we have set up. 
and you can set this to five if you wanted or, or whatever might work for your environment. And then we'll just do total call count there. And then let's go ahead and save this one. Hopefully I did that right. I mess this up again. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe it contains in the search set. Yeah, we might do search set because, well, it shouldn't, but we can do this. If I mess this one up, I have the other one built. I know I did it right, so we can go back to that dashboard real quick. Yeah, here, we'll just go, let's go to that one because I know that one works. I did something wrong there. Let's go take a look. Sorry, guys. We'll get this rolling here. Calling party number, minimal call count two. Normal call count, what's the search? Rentals, normal call clearing. What's it starts with on the device? Oh, did I do equals? That's what it was. Good call. Good call. All right, let's get back to that one. Been building these for days and I can't believe I forgot that one. All right, so it uh, starts with, because it doesn't obviously equal SIP trunk. We have some other stuff on the back end of that name. So that's why that didn't work. That's why I have John here. Okay. Don't know what I did there, but that's all right. Let's go take a look at the one that works because it's built the same, but I did something wrong there. And I don't know what I'm missing, but we're going to do calling party. Like I said, calling party number, we're going to look at all the calls coming in um, that have normal call clearing, have more than one call, and we sort them from highest to lowest total call count. So this is how this is going to look, right? So you have your calling. So current month, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it might be the date uh, that I, I ran it as well. That uh, is not working. But our current month, you can see that this number has called in eight different times. Now, that might not be a lot for a current month. But if you had this to current day and you had this same number call eight times, well, then you probably want to find out, you know, why has that call number called in eight times a day? And you can kind of drill down and say, hey, find out where that number is going within your system. And are they getting to the right person? Are they being disconnected and things like that. So I think that's a, a really nice um, a widget to see on a current day. I wouldn't run this as a current month. I think current day would, would be more beneficial, but because how my data is set up, um, just running at current month so we can actually see these total call counts. All right, hopefully that makes sense everybody. Sorry for jumping back and forth between dashboards here. Let's get back to my new one here and let's build out the cause codes. This one's a fun one. All right, same same deal here. Pick our cluster, my grouping widget, and we'll call this bad cause codes. All right, inside your search set, there's a couple things you're going to want to set up here. I'll type in, give this a name. And we're going to look up cause codes. So just type in cause here. We're going to do originating or terminating cause code. <clears throat> and we're going to add criteria. There's a, a ton, right? This is all getting pulled from Cisco. So there's a lot of different ones. But what we want to do is select the ones we don't want to see. We don't want to see ones that um, are no error because if that's not going to make sense to us, right? We, we want to see bad cause codes. So we're going to get rid of the good cause codes. So uh, no error. Uh, we got normal call, uh, call clearing. So we're going to do to call split. Uh, this one. And then those, I believe, are the three I need. And then what else, what we're going to do here is because we're saying is, if you click on is uh, in between these, uh, you can do is not. So we actually filter those out. <clears throat> Perfect. We'll go back to configuration. And then we're going to group on originating or terminating cause code. Sort this, uh, sort this from highest to lowest. Let's do another 30 because that's fun. 
and then we're going to uh, group. We'll just do total call so we can actually get one of these columns. We're going to do search that criteria. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you what happens when you set this where it calls with zero activity um, is set. So let's go ahead to previous week here. And hopefully this one works and I didn't mess this one up too. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one. So we can clean this up a little bit. Please don't take too long, Mr. Widget. There we go. All right. So as you can see, <clears throat> unassigned number is big. Got a total call count of 4,400 total calls that have an unallocated or unassigned number. And then we, the rest of these are the other calls codes that could be um, um, not, you know, if somebody's calling in and not getting places, they're, they're, these could be the reasons why. And then as you can see here, if I scroll down, there's a lot, all of them are going to show zero because inside my widget, I set up that to to work off the grouping uh, search set. So what we're going to do here is there's two ways we can fix that so that it doesn't show zeros. We can put a minimal, minimum call count of one, and that would work as well. But if we run off the call history data, we know that it's going to pull all the call all the information that actually has a, a call count to it because they're all those uh, calls codes that didn't have any uh, calls we don't want to see those so if we save this as that one this should only show us the top ones that actually have calls codes here so let's take a look there we go so that cleaned up that widget. So we're only seeing those cause code call eh, cause codes that have a call count associated to them. So we're not seeing all those zeros. And we can also set that minimum value to one, and you'll see those as well. Yeah, we see we got a call rejected as one there, and that's it. All right, let's go to this fun one. It's a little different to set up, but um, what we're going to do is um let's go ahead this is going to be the top phones over 30 percent concealment um and the reason this is a little different is some of the settings in our reports are uh available in our reporting but not available in um uh, in the widgets right now so what we need to do is we'll just give this a name but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use an existing call analytics report where we have this one created top 10 <coughs> phones over concealment and we'll show you how to set that up and where you can get this report as well so we need to make sure that i have this on the correct date so we get those uh information there um so we're going to group this on originally terminating device name. Uh, device name. A minimal call count of one. So we see calls that have at least uh, one call. And we don't want to see zero calls. Oh, actually, I think we wanted to do two here. Oh, no, one is, I'm sorry. I was looking at a different widget. Okay, so, and then we're going to group, um, sort this by highest to lowest. And then we're going to do total call count here. And I'll show you what the widget looks like. All right, so here is is four different phones that have <clears throat> that had three different call. This this uh, device had three different calls that went over thirty percent concealment, which is a QoS uh, rating for Cisco. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into the QoS stuff. We do have a uh, a great uh, web uh, webinar that Vic did on quality metrics. If you go to our web uh, website and go to webinars and you search for quality me metrics, you can watch this one. It explains the QoS really well and how that this, that concealment stuff works. But let's go take a look here. I got another minute here. Um, take a look at this report. 
and how this report is set up. So you have to set up the report first and then import uh, that report into the dashboard. Or we use a call scenario of total calls. And then under the search set statistics, I'm sorry, grouping statistics, where am I? Am I looking at the right one? How do I mess this all up? Uh, what I do? Should have, there we go, sorry. In the search sets down here, okay. So in your search sets, you got total call, call scenarios. Down here, you wanna set your, your minimum severely concealed seconds ratio, and you can set this anywhere between zero and one. But what we have here is, is 0.3 uh, to give us that kind of 30% um, as well. But the cool thing is if you go to our website, we do have this actual template. So all you'd have to do is download this template um, and then you can pop that in and then you can get this report on your own um, and then pop it into that dashboard as well. I'm I'm way over time, John. How's everything looking over there? Uh, it's looking good. I don't see any questions. Um, if anyone has any, please get them in straight away. And uh, great job, Dre. Uh, as always, it's, I have to say, my favorite widget. It's got so much flexibility and can do so many things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share out my screen. All right. Thanks again, everyone, for uh, attending today. We appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us. Our next session will be August 7th when Mike and Jim are going to show you how to build an MS Teams call queue report and uh so we have that to look forward to so thanks everyone have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next time thanks everybody